D. Discuss and or approve FFA trip to Saskatchewan, Canada. I like to go. Yeah, me too. I'm not sure I want to go to November. <laughs> uh, this was from uh, Larissa up now in, in our, uh, one of our ad instructors. Um, <coughs> the team, the livestock judging team, I believe is what it was, right? It was about half of all. Um, was notified that they, they finished in the top five of over 40 teams in the state. <clears throat> and they received an invitation to this. Um, and it's a very, it's an honor, frankly. Uh, it, it, it truly is. Um, and so we're thrilled with this. But since it's leaving, it, it's not a field trip to Shaler. It's a field trip to technically another, not technically, to another country. I just thought the board needed to be aware of it and sign off that yes, this is a good thing. Uh, we won't be able to use our own uh, vehicles for transportation, and there, there are a few little uh, nuances, yeah, nuances that have to be handled. But uh, terrific opportunity for another group of kids. So, well, she did say too that uh, she had a team qualify a couple of years ago, but the team members were all too young. You have to be what 18, I believe, yeah, or something. Yeah, 17, 17 by last January. So they're actually. You can change your team members, uh, not no, you can't change your whole team, but you can substitute, them substitute so they're actually, the, to compete, the kids have to be 17 by last January, but they're actually going to let two other kids who are too young but actually were on the team qualify to, to go. To go. And if you've ever watched one of these livestock judging things, it's not easy. It's very difficult to judge which cow is better than the other cow, and then they also had to give oral reasons, which they had to say why they thought the one was better than the other. That's, that's the tough part. Judging them in your own mind is probably not nearly as difficult as giving your oral reasons why. You know, you're giving that to another judge, to a panel. And uh, that's just one of the ways that, that, that the whole FFA program, an ag program, develops kids' uh, leadership abilities, their self-confidence, uh, their ability to speak before a group. It's a terrifically beneficial program. I think we should be very proud of our FFA uh, and talk proudly about it wherever we go. So uh, I would entertain a motion to approve that, that uh, trip. How is this being paid for, Kevin, do you know? Um, Right now, it's, I'll let John talk because we talked we about, talked it, about it today. Right now, um, since it was not in the FFA's budget, yeah. uh, right now it's funded by General Ford. We paid the registration and meals and all that today. I think it was eight hundred dollars, and we haven't accounted for transportation, transportation yet. And stuff. Be, be over. I so, still think it's a worthwhile trip for our kids. Right, right now, we're talking to General Ford. for that piece of it anyway. Yeah, the transportation will probably be something. Different. We're working through the details because of the restrictions. Yeah. I know Lewis they gave all the kids stuff to get their passports. So they have to do that on their own. Take that takes a while. It's six weeks. Yeah. Well, that's a good experience for them, too. So, I would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll make a motion to approve the FFA trip to Saskatchewan. Second. And I motion is subject to approve the FFA trip to Saskatchewan, Canada. Those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed, same. Motion carries 5 0. How, how many kids are we talking Pardon about? Pardon me? How many kids are we talking about? I think there's four on the team, and I believe that there are two or three that were on the team but aren't old enough to compete at this level. So I think we're talking about seven or eight kids. I'm doing that for memory, Marcia, so 